Hey guys, Rob from Georgia. This is episode six of my 22 shots of appreciation. My little shout out to the 22 shots of moods and horror. And uh, these guys are great. You know, going all the way back to when I first uh, first started listening and I found the podcast. Um, you know, I was telling someone, uh, I can't remember, I was telling someone that uh, ever since I started listening to the podcast and uh, joined the group, and um, thank you, by the way, for allowing me to join the group. Um, you know, it's hard because, you know, money's always tight. And, uh, but I have definitely really have tried to reclaim um, a lot of films from my youth that I, I really uh, I remember loving and uh, just didn't have my collection. And uh, it really is uh, a huge debt of gratitude uh, to Moods, to JP, to Jeremy. Uh, just for inciting inside of me a uh, desire to uh, um, reclaim a lot of films. Um, I watched one last night, Up From The Depths. <laughs> what a cheesy flick. But you know, it's fun. It's fun and I uh, enjoyed it. Um, so anyways, episode six um, is uh, Creepshot. Now, I've often said that this show, uh, the podcast, has either directly or indirectly led to me putting something into my collection and well indirectly um i've never had creep show in my collection believe it or not i'm really picky you know if i can't find something if, if it doesn't have the director commentary on it then uh then i'm hard pressed to get it i really 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 you know it's funny because i just recently found the uk edition of uh black death and there's a commentary on that but in the u.s release there's no commentary so I'm not sure how all that stuff works, but um, I'm sure the guys on the podcast would know better. But anyways, Creepshow. And the reason why I wanted to highlight this movie today, on this episode, um, because this is my UK edition that I just got not too long ago. And, Ken, you know, I love this. Um, I mean, look at the set screen. I mean, this is insane. I mean, I about jumped with the first time uh, the ghoul comes out from behind the... Uh, uh, the tombstone there, but uh, this has everything. Uh, you know, this has the uh, this, this has the commentary by both Romero and Savani, and it has a second disc and uh, um, not really anything inside but the discs. But um, but the disc uh, art is pretty cool, and uh, it does have, uh, as I said, it has a commentary. It has uh, uh, just desserts, the making of Creep Show, a feature length retrospective with all new cast and crew interviews, deleted scenes, Savannah's behind the scenes footage, uh, some uh, the trailer and uh, some uh, few other things. But um, what an absolutely, I mean, it, it's just, I mean, that's the UK. And you know, it's not just the disc. I mean, it's not the movies. I, got, I think I got seven from the UK now. And, uh, but it's my region free player. I mean, so this episode really is a shout out to the guys because Without them and without listening to the podcast, you know, I would have never picked up on things like uh, the different, uh, the many different distribution companies. I, I just never really paid attention before. Uh, I definitely didn't pay attention to anything uh, outside the U.S. in terms of U.K. releases and the other regions. And really didn't know there was a reason to have an all-region free player. And uh, since listening to the podcast, I've been able to get recently a uh, region free player. And it's awesome, I think. Seven movies now. I think I have uh, Sin and Tucci, uh, the Swiss film that Moods is all high on, um, probably for good reason. Uh, it's coming to me. I haven't gotten it yet, but I'm really stoked to get that. But uh, so, you know, this episode is uh, really just a shout out uh, to the guys just for cluing me in, uh, especially to... Uh, looking outside the boundaries of the United States for good releases of films. I mean, there are things out there. I, I just recently saw a really awesome cut, or uh, the, the artwork, uh, I think it was a steel case edition of Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. Unfortunately, and here's a pet peeve, not every UK seller wants to send the product to a US buyer. Um, and that is, that's a real pain. 
but uh, I get it, whatever. Um, so I keep hunting and hunting until I find that buyer that or seller is willing to ship to me. Um, but I do really love this. Again, I mean, just, I mean, you know, there are so many things that over there, just the UK that I've seen cover art after cover art. Look, I just recently got uh, the original 1951 uh, Think From Another World with James Arness and uh, has the commentary by John Carpenter. Yes, I just said that. John Carpenter does the commentary track. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing, but it's in the UK. And uh, unless you have a region free player, uh, you just can't, you can't enjoy it. Um, so, uh, you know, again, I mean, in terms of uh, collecting and my film collection, I'm not sure what I'd do without the 22 shots of moods and horror. So thank you uh, from the absolute bottom of my heart. Thank you for just, uh, just for you, you guys being inspired to do this, uh, to do this thing. And we're, we're getting close to uh, episode 100, which I really cannot wait uh, to see how that completely unfolds. But you know, it got me to thinking, Bang Bangoria also had that milestone, and that was a pretty big milestone, their 100th issue. And of course, then came the 200th issue and the 300th issue, and I hope we can say the same for the uh, 22 shots. Um, I hope so. But uh, so 100 is coming, and uh, so if you haven't got stoked, well, you need to get stoked. Um, so episode six, my 22 shots of appreciation is uh, Creepshow, the UK edition, because without the crew, there's no way this would be in my collection. And uh, if you've never thought about getting a, a region free player, you ought to think about getting one when time is right and opportunity is there. You ought to uh, uh, think about getting one. So uh, this is VHS 82 apostrophe, it's my YouTube channel. If you like the video, click like and leave a comment. Please leave a comment. No one's leaving comments. It'd be nice to. Uh, well, I shouldn't say that. A few, a few have, but uh, I just love reading. So, uh, please leave a comment. And uh, it is still the NFL Draft Weekend, so uh, I'll end this show one more time by saying, Go Bills! Like